travelling closer to the sun than ever before. This animation shows the anticipated path of the Parker Solar Probe on its record-breaking mission. We were able to actually fly through the upper atmosphere of the corona of the sun. The spacecraft got to within just over 6 million kilometres of the solar surface earlier this week, the closest ever approach by a human-made object. But as scientists had expected, they lost contact with it for several days. I believe we do have a detection of Beacon Tone 1. That's fantastic news. Before receiving a signal through NASA's Deep Space Network complex in Canberra, suggesting the probe was still intact, and operating normally. Deep Space Network is the only system in the world capable of talking to spacecraft at these enormous distances. We're very proud to be able to play a role in this historic moment. Three, two, one, zero. The Parker Solar Probe was launched in 2018 with the aim of learning more about the sun and the way it impacts our solar system. We're rewriting the textbooks on how, on, on how the sun works with this data and with the information that we get from this. NASA is celebrating this mission, but its teams are still eagerly awaiting the data collected by the probe. It's expected to become available around New Year's Day. In January, the first science data will return from this spacecraft, from its close encounter, and who knows what the science team will be able to uncover about our star, how our sun actually works. Searching for answers to some of the sun's biggest mysteries. Jade McMillan, ABC News, Washington.